Before I start my speech, I would like to invite up someone who is the salutatorian, vice president, and one of my very best friends. Michaela Momont, will you please join me at the podium? The members of the class of 2013 have stood by one another for as long as most of us can remember. Founded by friendship since the very start, we never hesitate to help each other out, demonstrating a sense of loyalty that has truly withstood the test of time. Being so close for so many years, our class has learned to collaborate and cooperate in all facets of our lives. So Michaela and I chose to speak together to exemplify this special dynamic and because we believe two, two brains truly are better than one. And as easy it is, as it is to admit that all of us have been itching to get out of here, we can't deny that this building has been our second home for the last six years, and this group of people sitting behind me has been our second family for the past 13. Since the first day of senior year, we have counted down the hours and minutes until this moment. Now that it has arrived, we find ourselves excited for the future, but still gripping to the comfort and familiarity of the past. Because not only is today a day of celebrating all of our achievements thus far in life, it is also a day for goodbyes. Goodbye to Hopkins, to Hadley, to our beloved teachers, and hardest of all, goodbye to each other. Many of us have been classmates for the past 13 years. That's two thirds of our life so far. We can barely even remember life before we were classmates. Over the years, we have grown and learned together. We have seen each other at our worst. We have also been there to celebrate in each other's successes. So many of us have been able to accomplish remarkable feats in our short 18 years. Tonight, we are proud of ourselves and our fellow graduates, not only for making it this far, but for everything else we've accomplished in and out of school. Last year, the jazz band returned from Walt Disney World with a trophy for being the best all-around jazz band, and almost a quarter of our class got to share in this victory. This year, our boys' varsity soccer team won the title of Western Mass Champions, which could not have, be, have been done without help from the seniors on the team. This past winter, a new name was added to the 1,000-point basketball banner, a very impressive accomplishment that was seen by the many fans in packed bleachers on the night of that exciting game. Many of our grade skilled athletes will be contributing their talents to collegiate sports teams next year. These soccer, softball, swimming, and basketball programs will not only benefit from our athletic skill, but also our character, sportsmanship, and the intellect that Hopkins encouraged us to have. Besides being honored with a spot on the sports team, it is also an impressive achievement just to have been offered a place in the college itself. Numerous students from our class have been admitted into not only their dream colleges, but competitive programs within them as well. This is something that we feel should most certainly be recognized and applauded. Nursing, physician assistant, biology, and psychology, just to name a few, are all intensive programs that will require a good work ethic and time management, but we feel that Hopkins has prepared us all for the challenges that await us. To already know your path of study at such a young age demonstrates a great sense of self-direction and self-discipline, and some of us have been lucky enough to discover our passion and begin to pursue it before even graduating high school. Our future pilot has already begun flying planes solo. Future nurses, midwives, physician assistants, and OBGYNs spend their free time volunteering at hospitals and are already planning the next steps that they will have to take in their schoolings. Our future Russian studies majors has been learning the language for years and is already planning to help with adoption systems abroad. And our future baker has been practicing with fondant and food markers, creating cakes for birthdays, class events, and even weddings. All of these accomplishments would not have been possible without our hunger for success, which has been instilled in us by the faculty and staff of Hopkins, our families, and each other. To the teachers, you have given us knowledge, but have also taught us valuable life skills, such as manners, kindness, gratefulness, respect, and fairness. Thank you. 
to the staff working in the office, kitchen, and those who clean the school, thank you for keeping Hopkins up and running. We are extremely grateful for all that you do to provide us with a safe and, fr and friendly environment. To Ms. Jennings and Mrs. O'Neill, thank you for putting up with our never-ending office visits, assisting us with every aspect of the college process, and for all your work that helped to make this evening a success. To our parents and guardians, thank you for always believing in us, even during times when we didn't believe in ourselves. Your never-ending love and support has made all the difference, and we truly wouldn't be here without you. And to our classmates, thank you for 13 years of friendship, fun times, laughter, and memories. You've been there for us through it all, the good, the bad, the ugly, but most importantly, the achievement. We can't imagine going to school with any other group of people, and we really have become one big, happy, oftentimes dysfunctional, but always loving family. Even though we are looking forward to next year, it really is going to be harder than we ever imagined to go our own separate ways. We will truly miss each and every one of you. Thank, Thank you. you.